Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a key Optima with a 2.4 GDI engine this generation. And you need to find the, ca the, the torque specs and bolt sequence for the camshaft caps. Stay with us, we'll explain everything from start to finish. It's super important how you do it. Otherwise you can damage your cylinder head and your engine and you can uh, spend quite a bit of money to fix it guys. All that will be covered today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get to the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos we take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now uh, if you guys need to buy any parts tools check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our parts and tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well with that being said let's explain now guys okay about it the uh, stock specs okay and bolt sequence okay for specifically okay for uh, those camshaft caps here so looking at it now guys okay you can see you have bolts with 10 millimeter socket you have some with a 12 millimeter socket now we need to do them in specific order uh, first we'll be doing these ones right here and step number one on those will be about 5.9 newton meters once you hear the click from the wrench, stop immediately or you can guys damage okay and break a bolt and that could be a headache guys okay to fix. So we're going to do these four bolts first. You go a little bit on each side and you switch to the other side. You make sure that you lubricate those caps really good and the camshafts when you install them. If they're not lubricated, okay, you can damage the camshafts and the cylinder head. So everything needs to be super lubricated when you put it together. So listen now that's it now same thing to the other one over there let's do that perfect so these two bo these four bolts with the 12 millimeter socket now uh, they need to be guys for step number one 14.7 newton meters so let's try to find 14.7 okay right there perfect so listen for that click now Perfect. Now we get a little one and we're going to do this the next order. That's group C and uh, it's still set at 5.9 Newton meters. Okay, next uh, next group guys, we're going to go, okay, right here, we can do, okay, this and then this. So we just have a little bit more left because we need to do one more step after that, step number two for all the bolts, so. Okay, we're ready with this just last bolt. Perfect. Now we're starting with the little one again. Step number two, it's between 10.8 and 12.7 Newton meters. So let's go ahead, do that. Okay, 10.8 to 12.7, uh, somewhere there adjusted. Usually I'll go right in the middle, something like uh, 11.5 to 12. Okay, and we start, okay, with group A, these four bolts, louder click now, more torque. Group B, we need to go for the big bolts here, and here you're going to go between 27.5 and 31.4 Newton meters. So we usually say that around 30, 30 Newton meters, four hours. All right, listen now. Perfect. 
perfect now we continue with the little one and we need to do the outside ones now then we switch to right here And after that, that's it guys. You can see, practically we're ready guys, okay. That's it. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find this information. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.